Hi all, welcome to the second part of the PU94 control panel tutorial. Let's discover together how to precisely set up the buttons and axes of your PU94 as well as its advanced functions. As in the other tabs of the control panel, you can choose your profile. In the buttons tab, you can personalize all six buttons as well as the scroll wheel actions. In the Axis tab, you can manage both joysticks axis, the thumb joystick and the inner pivot which enables you to tilt your mouse. Eventually, you can manage DPIs and the Dead Zone in the Advanced tab. PU94 emulates a mouse, a keyboard and a joystick. You can set the classical functions of a mouse on the buttons, like right and left click, scroll wheel, etc but you can also set the functions of a joystick, button 1 to 8. Regarding keyboard shortcuts, you can select up to 4 keys and modifier keys. Then, depending on the pressure length you need, you can choose between short pressure and maintain pressure if you want the keys to remain pressed as long as the mouse button is pressed. Eventually, the gradual pressure enables to accelerate the key's pressure frequency up to maintained pressure. Some other functions can be chosen, such as the DPI change, which enables to switch between four different DPI values. You can also use a profile switch in order to choose at will several profiles for one single game. Now let us discover the two customizable joysticks. To start with, Please be aware that you can set on each axis direction the same functions as the ones you can set on the mouse buttons. When selecting keyboard shortcuts in the drop-down list, you can choose two values for each joystick axis, one for the front and one for the back. Some more specific functions can also be chosen. The first one is to use the Windows Virtual Joystick axis. When selecting joystick in the drop-down list, you can select one of the eight axes. If this one is not in the direction you want, you can change it by simply checking the reversed checkbox. The second one is to use combined shortcuts. This enables you to move the mouse cursor while maintaining pressure on a modifier key. This way, you can move your mouse by using only the joysticks. The reversed checkbox works here as well to reverse the movement of the mouse. To finish with, the Advanced tab enables you to precisely choose the DPI value and to set the joystick's dead zone. The dead zone is the sensibility threshold under which the information is not sent to Windows because the motion of the joystick is too small. As mentioned in the first part, please make sure that you click on Apply once your modifications have been made in the tab. Please also remember to check that you are in the right profile to avoid any unpleasant surprise. We have now explored all possibilities of this control panel. Please feel free to contact us if you have any additional question. Your move now!